Welcome to the next segment of your tutorial, which we are going to discuss how to add, modify, and delete entries from your personal dictionary. Let's return to our winner software and click on the dictionary maintenance icon. Now, we are going to, we've got our personal dictionary highlighted. We are going to click the open button. And now, you will notice on the side that you have an add button, a modify button, and a delete button. First of all, let's go through how to add an entry to your dictionary. We are going to click on the add button. And in ProCat software, when you are putting your steno outline in, you can actually use regular English letters and it will immediately switch them to the appropriate steno stroke. So I am going to do the word mark M A R K. Now you'll notice it does it's beeping every time it switches the English letter into the steno. We're going to come down here and we're going to add the word mark in English. In case you're wondering what all this is down here on the add window, these are just reminders of how to define certain things in your software in case you ever forget. So while I'm down here, let me show you a few things. Um, I'm always losing that. <laughs> Um, I'm hitting an, uh, uh, another key. But anyway, um, suffix endings. Um, it's going to show you how to define them, decimal points, you name it. There's little reminders here. So you may want to at some point just scroll down here and see what all is in the command area. All right, so we've put the word mark in. We've given it the English define, and we're now going to click Add. You'll notice I can also spell check if I'm unsure how to spell a particular word. I have added this entry successfully, and when I say OK, it brings me back to add another entry. So that is how simple it is to add an entry to your dictionary. Now, let's say you want to modify a stroke. You can click on any stroke that you want to change, click on Modify, and you can change the steno or you can change the English define. Once you've made the change, you can, at that point, click on Close and the Modify will be taken care of. Delete an entry. You have two ways of deleting. Let's say you just have one word that you want to delete. You can highlight it, say delete. It's going to come back and say, are you sure you want to delete? Such and such equals such and such. If you do, you're going to click the OK button. I, however, am going to click cancel. All right, so that's how you add, modify, and delete. Now, for those of you who have always wanted to clean your dictionary out but have always avoided it because it was just too time consuming, you may want to think about doing it now, now that you are in ProCat's Winner software. It is very simple for you to go through and highlight whatever entries you want, to tag them, and then delete them. So what you want to do is hold your control key down and just keep clicking with your mouse button. You can go down your dictionary and scroll and keep scrolling and say, oh Lord, I don't need this one. And you're going to keep going here and going here and going here. And you find some old entries that you haven't used in 500 years and or some include files. As you notice, I have tons of them. And 
just come through here and say, oh, I don't write that word like this anymore. I don't write like this anymore. And you can keep doing this. When you get them highlighted, you now can go up to Tags, and you can click on Delete Tagged Entries. When you do this, everything that you have highlighted will be removed. So if I click Delete Tagged Entries, it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete seven selected entries? Obviously, I'm going to cancel. But if you do, you want to click on the OK button. And when you do, the entries that you've highlighted will be deleted. So you have, you can delete one item at a time, or you can do a massive deletion by highlighting each entry and then going up to tags and deleting all the tagged entries. And that's really all there is to adding a word, modifying it, or deleting it. I will be back in just a moment.